Adding borders to cells is another feature that lets you give special emphasis to certain portions of a worksheet. In this worksheet, most of these cells are formulas. These cells here contain pure values, and maybe you want to set those off from the others simply by putting a border on them. The border feature is found in the font group on the Home tab. There's a drop arrow right here, and quite a few choices here. You may want to apply just a bottom, top, or left border. You can see where that might be used in some cases. If you want borders on all the cells, here's one of the options right here, All Borders. And typically, when you apply borders, you're not always aware of the complete effect until you click outside of the area. Let's click in a different cell here. And now we see the effect of the border. Now, that's not the only kind of border you might consider here. Maybe you just simply wanted to apply an outline border here. Let's reconsider this, go back to that same location on the Home tab, and possibly use a thick box border. Now, that doesn't erase what we previously did, but it puts a thicker border around the outer edge. You might want to consider using Control-Z here twice to get rid of both effects. And then, with the cells still highlighted, try just the border outline, the thick box border, that way. And then, once again, click away from it. If you're interested in applying this to other cells, maybe these cells here. And again, the rationale sometimes is just a different visual effect you might want to consider using the drop arrow again, trying some of these options. You also could, if you're looking for color, go to the choice called More Borders, and then within this dialog box on the Border tab here, begin by choosing a color, perhaps a red here maybe, and then consider either some of the options here or maybe just a standard thick line, and then possibly apply just an outline border, you can also have those lines on the inside as well. And there are some other unusual choices here you might want to consider too. This gives you a nice preview of what you're about to see. Then click OK, then possibly click outside of it. So you'll have different reasons at different times for wanting to use this feature. And don't confuse the border feature, by the way, with the grid line choice that we see in the background. Many Excel users like to see the grid lines all the time, and that's fine. If you don't want to see them, a thought might be, then the borders are going to be a little bit more prominent. So if you go to the View tab, you can uncheck the box called Grid Lines. And the grid lines disappear, and maybe that gives greater weight to the border features that we're using here. If you'd like to get rid of borders, there are a few ways we can do this. One easy way, say we don't want the borders on these cells here and maybe it's too late to do an undo, you can use a keystroke shortcut, control shift underscore, or possibly you could also have gone back to the Home tab and chosen there the choice No Border. So different ways to get rid of these as well. So it's, again, another visual feature that you might consider using to add additional emphasis to portions of a worksheet.